where it is uh, the port of nasal lacrimal duct valve station. Dr. Parivar. Good afternoon, everyone present here. Myself, Dr. Pranaya Bashis. I'm a third year final student uh, from uh, RIO, Guwahati. And uh, I'm going to present a case report on nasolacrimal duct worm infestation. Uh, on the history, I, we received a girl, of eight-year-old girl, presented in our OPD with a history of expulsion of tiny white worms from her left lower eyelid punctum for a period of 15 days. She complained that the worms were expel expelled while she sleeps or studies or mostly during the night. Uh, she did not complain of any pain, swelling, or irritation in or around the eyes, and she complained of a warm sensation around her eyes, after which one or two small worm would come out. She was an average school-going girl without any systemic or past illnesses. Her bowel and bladder habits were normal. Her appetite has decreased, according to her mother, from the onset of the disease. Her sleep pattern was regular and there was no significant family or allergy history. Uh, in this um, slide, we can see that there is a tiny small worm attached to her lower punctum. And uh, it is a very, um, we took this picture just after the worm has come out from her punctum. On examination, her visual acuity was 6x by for left eye. Her anterior segment was within normal limits with a very mild mucoprolin discharge from left eye. On syringing, the left nasolacrimal duct was found to be patent. Her left fundoscopic examination was found to be within normal limits. Her right eye was within normal limits. For uh, management, we first hospitalized her in our ward. Then after admission, we saw that more fresh worms came out from her lower punctum, um, which we sent to the microbiological examination. Her routine um, blood workup, along with stool and urine examination, was done. Her blood eosinophilic count was slightly higher, that is 632 microliter, and, but no ova, cyst, eggs are found in her stool examination. Her routine uh, urine examination was within normal limits. For treatment, she was treated with top, uh, topical antibiotic eye drops and uh, syringing of the nasolacrimal duct with gentamicin eye drops. Oral advantazole was prescribed after consultation with the pediatrician. After hospitalization and treatment, there was no fresh worms. And uh, she was discharged from a ward after a period of seven days and called for follow-up. Uh, clinically, we found that the worms were uh, worms were thread worm, that is the uh, or pin worm, Enterobius vermicularis. Uh, her microbiological examination of the worms were sent, but sadly, because of the COVID situation, our patient did not came for follow-up with the uh, results. That's all I can say. Thank you. Uh, it's an interesting case, but I think without the documentation of the microbiological specimen. Uh, yes, um, uh, actually, uh, microbiology was sent. The report, uh, it was, uh, the report we did not get, but we have confirmed with them, uh, since it, uh, the microbiology was sent f in our same hospital, so I have confirmed that it is pinworm. But right. she did not come with the documentation because of all this right. so COVID situation. Possibly, if you want to present or write this up, you would need a photomicrograph e of yes, the sir. worm yes, to sir. identify the species and confirm it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. And, uh, sir. You mentioned clinically you had confirmed that this was the diagnosis. How was? How do you? Sir, we have asked the microbiologist and about for gross, uh, gross picture of the worm. We have sent many worms actually, with the, and then they have seen and confirmed that it is a pinworm. But the report wasn't collected and she did not follow up. Right. Are also seen in the conjectural sac. Yes, sir. And yes, these sir. worms may enter into the, uh, uh, through puncta yes. into the. Yes. Or uh, this, this usually happens sometimes uh, this uh, due to insects. Some insects may... Insect uh, after insect bite. Inoculation might be, with... Might be the cause of uh, 
uh, the, this present, this verb, there yes, might sir. be. This this might be one of the cause. Is there anything, sir? I think I have seen one case. One patient came, and he is saying so that there is many worms in my worm. Then I have examined, and he, there were as a worms, many worms, and in the conjunctival sac, and the history was that some insect was coming and that uh, due to insect uh, on the eyes and due to after insect when insect uh, he the, his, the insect was not done but there was a many worms yes sir. like the pore in the conjunctival sac of that patient so yes, it might be a cause due to that uh, this worm may be there yes, sir. okay thank yes. you sir